Hi, I'm Gaspar Garcia. I'm an engineer on the Quip Live Apps platform here at Salesforce. I'm going to introduce you to the Quip command line tool. The Quip command line tool will be your go-to for initializing, versioning, and publishing the live apps you create. Live apps are already available within Quip. You may have used tools like the countdown clock and project tracker, or maybe the Kanban board and the relationship map. These are live apps. This demo will present an improved developer experience, a CLI for managing live apps, the ability to run just end-time testing, and will create a live app that integrates with a third-party service. Now when installing the Quip CLI package, you'll have access to the Quip command line tool. QLA is your entry point to initializing a new Quip live app project, managing live app versioning, and publishing the app to Quip. In my terminal, I'll create a new directory called Trollhead Weather and change into this directory. Let's run QLA init so we can initialize the live app project. QLA guides us through generating a manifest for our app and gives us a few options. It asks us for the name of the app. We'll use the default, which is based on a directory, Trollhead Weather, and the package name is Trollhead Weather. This app is going to be a simple weather app. We will be asked if we want to use TypeScript. We'll say yes to that. As a bundler, we'll have the option to use Webpack or Parcel. Let's go with Webpack. It gives us a few other options to configure, including the version string, the initial toolbar color, the container size. These options can also be configured on the manifest file generated by QLA init. Once we have completed the QLA init prompts, a new project for our live app has been created. Let's list the directory contents using ls. We have created a TypeScript React project with just snapshot testing enabled. Now that my live app project is initialized, I need to install the dependencies via npm install. The application code in our boilerplate generated by QLA init is already initialized to use modern tooling. Industry standard jest and enzyme snapshot testing is enabled by default. We haven't even published our app to quip.com yet, but we can already create and run unit tests for our live app. We can run our tests in watch mode and build new tests without needing to push the app. Now that npm install has finished, let's go ahead and run our jest tests. We'll run npm run test watch. Within a few moments of initializing our live app using our Quip command line tool, QLA init. We now have a live app project. This is a TypeScript project that's using a Webpack bundler. It's running React 16, and it has just Enzyme snapshot testing already enabled. Let's open the project directory in our editor and open up the main.test.tsx file. This file has an inline snapshot test over the main component of the app. The Quip CLI tool initializes a boilerplate that encourages best practices for live app development. We have a components directory that contains all the components that will be rendered, all the TSX files, and we also have a model directory which will contain all of the data store for our app. Once we publish our app with quip.com, we'll be able to initialize the app on the quip document using at trailhead weather. Initially, the app displays hello world and the app data which right now only contains the Boolean is highlighted. The app is also configured with the single menu item that toggles the is highlighted Boolean and also changes the background color of the app. Now on our terminal, we can go ahead and start a Webpack server for our live app using npm start. After we do this, we'll be able to put our app into local resources mode so that it can pick up local changes to our TypeScript files or any other resources declared in the live app manifest. Within a few moments, we generated a live app project using the Quip command line tool. Now let's take it to the next level. Let's actually turn this live app into a weather app. Live apps enable developers to integrate with third-party data and services. For this weather app, I'm going to use real-time data from openweathermap.org. To do so, we'll need to enable a few CSP directives in the app manifest. The Live App Manifest gives us control over which services our Live App can integrate with. 
we'll add openweathermap.org onto our CSP directives so that our live app can fetch weather data. I've previously prepared a patch for this demo that incorporates the changes to our starter code to display the weather app. I'll, I'll apply those changes now. The live app manifest has been updated with the CSP directives necessary to fetch data from openweathermap.org. These are the image sources and connect sources, and we've also added some style sources and font sources. We've also updated the main component and our data model as well. Let's take a look at what the live app looks like now. After a quick reload, we'll see a fully rendered weather app. This is pulling real-time data from openweathermap.org. The live app is running directly inside of a Quip document using data from a third-party service and created using the Quip command line tool. The Quip command line tool is coming this year. This tool will provide the functionality to generate your live app project structure already equipped with TypeScript, React, and Jest Enzyme testing. Also included will be enhanced live app publishing and live app versioning with the ability to designate beta users. The existing Create Quip app package will continue to exist on NPM, however docs will be pushed to the GitHub repo and only security support will continue. New live apps will use Quip CLI to create, package, and publish instead. We want to build a useful tool for our live app developers, and you can help us. See the appended resources and GitHub project to learn how you can get involved.